Hello everyone, my name is Emma and I hope you guys had a fantastic booktubeathon. If you participated, if you didn't, I hope you had like the greatest week ever, obvs. So I'm very excited to talk about the books that I read during booktubeathon because I enjoyed all of them, which is great because there have been times in my life where I participated in readathons, i.e. I can't think of one right now, but there have been times and I didn't like like any of the books I read and I don't know why, but that happens. Anyway. School's kind of like a readathon, I would say. It feels like a readathon. I'm reading a lot in a short period of time. So yeah. Great connections, Emma. Bravo. Anyway, so I wanted to do a wrap up because that seems like the thing to do. And also, I haven't been in front of a camera all week because I've been a disembodied voice and a disembodied singing voice all week long and haven't been here talking at the same time as my face is moving. So that's very exciting. Yay. Woot woot. If you want to check out those videos out, I'm pretty proud of them. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I like creativity within guidelines, and Booktubeathon was perfect for that. I also want to shout out something that's going on over at my girl Ileana's channel, Virginia Wolf. She's doing Can Week, where she reads Canadian literature and talks about it, and she's super smart and crazy awesome, and I'm sure you're subscribed to her, but if you're not, you should, because she will enrich your life, and she's really great at makeup, and I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials, so that made me think of that. Anyway, so yeah. Let's get started. The first book I want to talk about is this book, which I finished like right before the end. I'm kind of going backwards. I don't know why. I've just decided to do that right now because I'm different. I'm cool. I'm a cool kid. What am I doing? Anyway, so the first book I want to talk about is Four Seasons in Rome by Anthony Doerr. Anthony Doerr wrote a book that you might have heard of called All the Light We Cannot See, a book I have not read. I know. But I wanted to just kind of dip my feet into Anthony Doerr, so I decided to read his travel memoir about his time that he spent in Rome. He was offered a fancy scholarship sort of thing, um, a scholarly thing where he got to go live in Rome for a year and write. Um, and so it's about him and his wife and their two very young baby, baby twin sons moving to Rome for four seasons a year. This book was so good. I love travel memoirs. I love, love travel memoirs. And this was like in a league of its own. It was fantastic. Um, it's beautiful. I saw somebody on Goodreads say that it's just Anthony Doerr musing a lot, and it is a lot of Anthony Doerr musing about life, about history, about Rome, about parenthood, about being a writer, about death, about, about human existence, but I loved it and I ate it up. There's not like a big point to this story. I mean, it isn't a story, it's a travel log, but you get to hear these richly beautiful descriptions of Rome, these richly interesting and fascinating and gorgeous descriptions of parenthood, and marriage. There are times this book made my heart soar and times this book that it brought it back to reality and I'm not saying that your heart soaring isn't reality but it just so many emotions, so many feelings. It was just gorgeous and definitely made me want to read All the Light We Cannot See so I'm gonna be picking up that picking that up soon because this book was so great and if you want to read it it's super short so it's not a huge investment and it goes by really quickly. Yay! Anyway Next book I want to talk about is a graphic novel, and that is Rat Queens Volume 2. I read Rat Queens Volume 1 a while ago, like a long while ago, and I didn't love Rat Queens Volume 1. I like the characters, but the first volumes or first, like, editions or whatever of graphic novel series tend to be, you know, there are a lot of explaining, and there's not a lot of stuff happening, and um, I tend not to like them as much as the sequels or the next volumes. But I absolutely loved Rat Queen's Volume 2. It was funny, it was interesting, it was dark, it was it was beautifully illustrated. I really like the illustrations in this um, in this series. It was just it was great. I loved it. I loved hearing about the backstories of the Rat Queens and the whole world building, and it's just a really fun, interesting, cool graphic novel series, and I really like it. Okay. Next, I want to talk about another graphic novel series. Look at me go. Lumberjanes Volume 3. Lumberjanes is one of my favorite graphic novel series. I love Lumberjanes. Lumberjanes is about a group of Girl Scouts, but like really awesome. Not saying Girl Scouts aren't awesome, but like very hardcore Girl Scouts. And this is the third volume. It starts off with like this amazing like cool um, part where they're telling ghost stories and you get to see lots of different art styles which I thought was really cool as each different Lumberjane tells a ghost story. It has um, some really fun stuff at the end. Not a lot happens in this graphic novel. It's basically set during a day and you see three of the characters doing stuff and two of the characters going off and doing their stuff. But I love Lumberjanes. It's so much fun. It's so sweet. It's so summery. I wish I had had this in high school because it would have like been perf, even more perf 
perfect. Why am I saying perfect like that? Even more perfect then than it is now. But I loved it. It was so great. Okay. Next, we have Modern Lovers by Emma Stroud, a book I read for the um, Your Favorite Author Challenge. I really like Emma Straub. She isn't my favorite author at all, and I don't even think she makes the top ten. But I really like her, and I wanted to read this book, so I made it work. Anyway, so Modern Lovers is a great, wonderful, lovely novel. It's about these four people, um, these two couples. It's about music, it's about their life, it's set over a summer and you get to see the perspectives of these two couples and the people in these two couples and their two children, their two separate children who are both teenagers. It's about kind of finding yourself at any age. You see the teenagers finding themselves and figuring out what they want. You see um, the male teenage boy trying to break away from his parents' expectations. You see the girl, um, teenage, the teenage girl figuring out what she wants to do for, with her life. You see the two married couples figuring out how they relate to each other, how they relate to their spouses, how they relate in life. It's beautiful and really well crafted and the writing is fantastic. It's a very quick read. It's very summery. Um, it's like uplifting but again very realistic and I don't know I really liked it a lot. It was great and I love Emma Straub. Maybe Emma Straub is one of my favorite authors now. So probably not making the top 10 but She's climbing up there. Also, she is like one of the best like author Instagrams ever. I love it so much. Okay, final book. The book that I loved the most, and I really liked all of these books. So that's saying something. That's 84 Trying Crossroad by Helen Hanf. Oh my god, guys. This book was given to me by my mother a couple Christmases ago, and I just finally picked it up even though it's like so tiny. This book is a series of letters that Helen Hanf collected over the course of 20 years when she was writing to a bookstore in London. It was one of the most beautiful love letters to literature, um, beautiful love letters to like letters. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, it's funny, really funny and funny in a way you wouldn't expect for the time period of between the 1950s and the early 70s. It's sad, it's, it's real. I mean, it is real. It's nonfiction. It was just one of the best things. It's so sweet. I can't really say much about it um, without, like, giving things away, even though, like, it's, you know, not a lot happens, but so great, so great, so sweet, so wonderful. If you haven't read this, read it. I mean, it's gonna take you, like, a half hour at the most to read it, so mm, I loved it so much. Anyway, that is my lovely little wrap-up. I'm currently reading a book called Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop, which is over there by Jenny Colgan. It's a really cute women's fiction novel and I'm enjoying it. It's about a chocolate shop, which I'm all about. Um, not a chocolate shop, it's about a candy shop, whatever. Anyway though, what have you read? What did you read during what did what did you read? What did you read during Book Two I'd love to know. Also, slight poll. I wanna do a tag. Do you think I should do the makeup book tag? I'm not like amazing at makeup. I'm no I'm no Ileana. She's like fantastic. Or should I do another tag? You should suggest one to me because I'm lost and I don't know what tags are out there and I want to do a tag. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!